Welcome back to Curious Kids HQ. Today, we're going to take a journey into the heart of India, where a very special tree grows. One so large, so old, and so unique, it's like an entire forest all by itself. Are you ready? Let's explore the story of the Great Banyan Tree, a natural wonder that will leave you amazed. In a peaceful corner of India, in the bustling state of West Bengal, lies a famous place called the Akarya Jagadish Chandra Bose Indian Botanic Garden. It's a magical spot filled with plants from all over the world, but there's one tree there that stands out above the rest. This is no ordinary tree, it's the Great Banyan Tree, and its story began over 250 years ago. Long ago, the Great Banyan Tree was just a small sapling, just like any other tree. But as the years passed, something amazing started to happen. Banyan trees have a special trick up their sleeves, or should we say, branches. They grow aerial roots, which are roots that drop down from the branches and reach the ground. These roots become new trunks, making the tree spread wider and wider. Most trees have one trunk, right? Well, not this one. The Great Banyan Tree has thousands of trunks, so many that when you walk through it, you feel like you're wandering through a forest, even though it's really just one gigantic tree. As the years passed, the Great Banyan Tree kept growing and spreading until it covered an area of over 14,500 square meters. That's about the size of three and a half football fields. Can you imagine a single tree that big? It's canopy. Those are the branches and leaves, stretches so far that it's almost like a giant umbrella, offering shade to everything underneath. But the Great Banyan isn't just famous for its size. This tree is older than most countries. Think about it. It was growing before cars were invented, before airplanes flew in the sky, and even before many of the modern cities we know today were built. Some say that the Great Banyan tree is even older than 250 years, which means it's been around for countless generations of people. As the Great Banyan tree grew, it faced many challenges. Over the centuries, it survived fierce monsoons, harsh winds, and even lightning strikes. But one of the biggest challenges came in the year 1925, when a terrible storm hit the garden. The storm damaged the main trunk of the tree, and it began to rot. This was a sad moment for the gardeners who took care of the tree, because they feared they might lose it. But the Great Banyan Tree wasn't ready to give up. Even though its main trunk had to be cut down to stop the rot from spreading, the tree kept growing. Its aerial roots had already formed thousands of new trunks, and these trunks allowed the tree to thrive, even without its original base. Today, the Great Banyan Tree has over 3,600 trunks, each one helping to support its massive branches. The Great Banyan Tree isn't just amazing because of its size, it's also home to a huge variety of creatures. Birds build nests in its branches, and monkeys swing from its vines. Insects, like butterflies and beetles, buzz around the tree, making it a busy, bustling place. It's like a mini ecosystem, providing food and shelter for all kinds of animals. If you ever visit the garden, you might hear the chirping of birds or see squirrels darting up and down the trunks. It's a place where nature comes to life, and the great banyan tree is at the center of it all. With so many creatures calling it home, the tree feels like a little village, full of activity and life. In India, banyan trees are often seen as symbols of eternal life. Why? Because banyan trees can live for hundreds, even thousands of years. They are also known for their resilience. No matter what nature throws at them, whether it's storms, droughts, or the passing of time, they continue to grow. People in India often gather under banyan trees to find shade on hot days, and sometimes they hold important meetings or ceremonies beneath the branches. Some banyan trees, like the Great Banyan, are even considered sacred. They are a reminder that nature is strong, and that even the smallest seed can grow into something truly magnificent. So what lessons can we take from this amazing tree? Well, for one, the Great Banyan Tree teaches us about the power of patience. It didn't become the world's largest tree overnight. It took hundreds of years of steady growth, spreading its roots and branches bit by bit. It also shows us the importance of resilience. When the Great Banyan lost its main trunk, it didn't stop growing. Instead, it adapted and continued to thrive, finding new ways to support itself through its many aerial roots. This teaches us that even when we face challenges, we can always find a way to keep moving forward. Finally, the Great Banyan Tree is a symbol of unity. Its thousands of trunks work together to support the entire tree, just like how we, as people, 
can achieve great things when we work together. If you ever find yourself in India, you can visit the great banyan tree in the Indian Botanic Garden near the city of Kolkata. There's a special path that takes you around the tree so you can walk under its vast canopy and experience the wonder of standing beneath one of the largest living things on earth. It's like walking through a natural cathedral with the branches and leaves forming a ceiling high above. As you walk, you might even feel a sense of awe, knowing that this tree has been growing for centuries, long before you were born and long after you're gone. It's a reminder that nature is timeless and that there are wonders in the world far older and grander than we can imagine. And so the story of the great banyan tree continues. It's a story of growth, survival, and strength, qualities that we can all learn from. The next time you see a tree, think about how it might be the start of something much bigger, just like how the great banyan started as a tiny sapling and grew into a giant. Thanks for joining us on this journey today, curious kids. Remember to stay curious, because there's always more to discover in the world around us. Whether it's the story of a giant tree or the mysteries of the deep sea, there's no limit to what we can learn. Until next time, keep exploring with Curious Kids HQ.